Hey, love fox, it's Ross going back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support, being able to just being able to let me see how I want to put this. Being able to be comfortable in your own skin, being who you truly are, your authentic self. Being able to accept the gifts about yourself and be able to ride and see where it takes you to. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also... If you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you um, feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or you know, a fellow empath that are really going through some stuff right now, please go ahead and share. And Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's all greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. And, oh, y'all can't really hear this. This one's lower. The other one kept on getting loud, so I had to turn it down a little bit. I love it for y'all to be able to get the vibes like I'm getting, but I'm trying to make sure, you know, it's at a frequency where it's not messing your ears up as well. Because I know I had that back in the past where I can hear something didn't know how it's impacting somebody else hearing it from the other end but this one's very different it's called 852 hertz cosmic cavern release subconscious uh bad energy awaken your inner strength and good night sleep music i might have to use that tonight for you know for some sleep meditation because i was wondering why it's got me in a relaxed mode like i you know make me feel like I took a muscle relaxer or something I'm like wow or I might be in a euphoric feeling that's why I feel like I am right now um today my um my content is about 20 flame 101 thinking and speaking thinking and speaking about things you don't want keeps you in a sinking place I remember me and um Marley <laughs> in December we're talking about that yesterday in a uh, comment she left much love to you Marley if you're watching this um, you know, we have a bad habit of going through situations and we can sit up here and talk, you know, you have to be very careful what you push out to the universe and the way you talk, you have self-talk. And I've seen that even in a post, you have to monitor your words towards yourself as well as the universe, because what you're speaking is what is gravitating towards you, law of attraction. You got to make sure that you keep your mind in a positive frequency, no matter how bad it is. And I have to keep telling myself that even though you might be around, I'm, I'm in a situation where I'm just ready to walk away from it. But I know I'm still dealing with a cer certain karmatic cycle in that situation that needs to be healed. It needs to be, you know, looked at in a positive way, being able to see things, you know, in a different perspective. So I have to just tell myself, you know, anytime you're in a situation, you know you can't stand it, but you know you're stuck in there for a certain reason. And it's usually it's, it's your state of mind, how you feel like you're stuck. But it's just the way, if you know, if you can see things for what it is, being able to let go of being able to not give that negative situation power over you, you'll be able to be set free. But then you have to wait for divine timing as well. So it's just like all how you push it out towards the universe and pushing out, responding to it for yourself. Like if you know there's a situation you don't want to be in, you just tell the universe, I understand this situation is trying to teach me something which I might not understand at that present time. But universe, God, whoever you worship at that time, you know, I'd rather be in a happier place. I'd rather have a happier mindset. Don't ever say, I don't want. When you place, I don't want in front of it, that's where you're going to stay in that frequency. You don't want to be at that low, lower frequency. You're trying to guide yourself to a positive atmosphere you want to be in a positive mindset you want to have a peaceful mind so always make sure when you're talking towards yourself and as well as others you know you don't want to concentrate on the things you don't want there's a lot of things we don't want in life but we can't keep talking about the things we don't want because that's what the you know universe is going to keep bringing towards us the things we don't want because we're giving that that negative situation too much power over our lives because it's like well my situation 
dealing with a narcissist, a womanizer, you know, I'm dealing with all that stuff, you know, seeing things that I really ready to part ways with. But obviously there's something that I had to learn from this situation, being able to heal, you know, especially if you're going through an ultimate heartbreak that lets you know somewhere down the line, there's going to be true love for you. You know, when you have to go through that ultimate heartbreak, going through things that you never thought you were able to. To deal with and a lot of people have to go through that be able to get there you know you have to be able to appreciate a heartbreak for you to be loved so you be able to see yourself in growth being able to say okay when I when my next relationship because you know the worst relationship that you could be in it tends to teach you a lot of things that you will never go through again in the next relationship and it's not to make you put walls up that's not what it's for basically when you have to go through an ultimate heartbreak you have to really see how to go about a real relationship when you get into a genuine relationship where there's no hidden motives they love you where you're supposed to be loved and vice versa you know what you're accepting you know what things you're going to bring to the table you know you need trust communication um love you know just being genuine all right genuine if there's things that bother you you should be able to discuss that with your partner you should be able to you, know, you don't have to argue about it you don't have to fuss you can just speak your opinion you know but if you're in a narcissistic situation, number one, they're never going to see fault in what they do. So there's no point on even arguing with them because they will end up winning anyway, even though you you know what they're doing to you. And they know what they're doing to you, too, but they, they choose to be playing games, mind games. They like doing that. So it's just like, you know, I had to be able to let those things go. Even though I see the things that are going on, I had to let it go. You know, it's like, what's the point? They're going to, you know, argue their point anyway. You don't know, never see fault. Narcissism, narcissistic people never see fault in what they do. They feel like they, they're, uh, they have a right to everything. Everything that they do, they have a reason, a good reason for doing the way they do. They feel like they have a right to do it, and they're good with that. So you have to be able to make peace with situations like that. Being able to say, you know what, this situation has taught me a lot on things that, that when I go off to my next relationship, won't happen. Or, you know, you don't have to say, I don't want, you know, you always got to make sure you don't say that. Just say the next relationship, when you heal yourself, your your old relationship has taught you a lot of things that you will have appreciate, you know, you appreciate bringing to the table. Or, you know, it's just like when we, uh, you know, we go through a really bad situation with people. You always say, oh, I wish I never met. Don't ever say you don't wish you never met anybody because that's the person you want to be around the time. That was your choice. You know, we just didn't see the things that they were intending to do. We didn't see the hidden motives at that time. We weren't supposed to. You're supposed to go through that situation for that situation to be able to teach you. You know, so when another situation pops up happening like that, you can catch it right in the bud. Like, ooh, you know, if anybody reminds you of somebody that you know good and well you didn't want to be around, that was a blessing in disguise right there to let you know, oh, I went through this before. And if you start reminding me, even though you don't want to never compare somebody to that, to a bad experience but if they're bringing that kind of vibe towards you if the last person did that's a blessing because that lets you know okay i've been through this before so i can be able to stop this before it can carry on so see there's always a reason why we had to go through these bad experiences when it comes to certain people so it's just like you never want to sit up here and keep talking about the negative situation you know if somebody asks me oh you're doing well i'm like i'm doing well you know I just got to go through certain things or whatever. You don't want to engage and talk about the negative situation all the time. You know what this situation is supposed to teach you. You know what you're supposed to learn from it. So you can be able to move on. <laughs> you know, it's just like when you go to the next, you know, next relationship and it's very genuine. You never want to keep talking about why well, I went through this, you know, because I let the, I make the prior person you're dealing with think you're still stuck in this situation. Because it's like with my situation, you know, the people that they have dated, you know, come to me and tell me what they said, you know, just keep drama up. And I was like, oh, didn't that let you know that they're not over the situation that they keep talking about me? It was, it was like, if I talk to somebody else, I make sure that <laughs> I don't barely talk about that person. I might talk about anything else, but I'm not going to talk about that person because I'm over and done with that. You know, it's just like that. This this situation has taught me so much. And I'm proud that I went through this because I could say I'll never allow this to happen to me again. And that's a good thing when you go through stuff like that because you don't want to allow yourself to be in that sinking place. And anybody has ever seen Get Out, <laughs> you don't want to be in that sinking place. And I've been there too many times. 
So you know when you're going through a certain situation, no matter if it's with a significant other, with your family, or a job, you never want to sit up here and talk about, I don't want. You always say, God, can you please place me in a better atmosphere where I can have a peace of mind? Gravitate, can you please allow me to go to another place where I can get positive energy, a positive mindset, positive influence? When you put positive words in front of those situations that you do want, the laws of attraction will allow you to bring those type of frequencies into your life. And that's what we all need. Because being in a sinking place is black. It's dark. And it's scary. <laughs> and it's hellish. You don't want to be in situations like that. So it's just like if anybody was to ask me my situation, I'm just like, hey, it is what it is. When you can recognize what's going on and be able to set free from that situation and know you can just pray for whoever it is is putting these kind of bad you know vibes towards you you know if they want to be dating some other people and bringing that drama towards them hey that that if they can't recognize what that is hey that's all on them they pretty much and they'll find out how that person is when they deal with them so just allow things to happen let it play out the way it needs to play out but being able to take the positive in situations even though it put a negative impact on you but it also made positive influences towards you to let you know what not to do in your next relationship what to look for what to keep an eye out for you know what vibes you pose to bring you know you know what not to do never talk about your ex with your next you, you, you never talk about your ex with your next you never supposed to do that so being able to know that you have learned stuff from each and every relationship you have encountered because it always taught you a valuable lesson even if it was a bad one as well as good ones so you can be able to take that along wherever you go so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video never get yourself in the sinking place if you do get your butt out you know like they say get out <laughs> so i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of this video drop me a line or two let me know what you feel about this video know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days my post notification shout out goes to uh, marley december much love to you sis i'm gonna come stop by your channel and Send some more support towards your way. Uh, Amit77 and Clara Lachey Codwell and Baron Rainbow. Much love to you. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So I will see you on my next video. Um, that'll probably be my last one. I don't know if I'm making any videos tomorrow, but if I do, it's all what the future holds. So I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. <laughs>